when we are comparing two samples there could be uh, three um, or um, I would say uh, four different types of comparison test uh, that we can run um, out of that there are three different types of t-tests that we can use to compare two samples um, one t-test is um, um, it's a simple uh, separate sample and then um, uh, with equal variance we can assume more unequal variance because we have software like Excel it doesn't really matter whether we assume equal or unequal unequal it gives you a little bit more uh, precise result but it's a little bit difficult to uh, do the uh, calculation by hand because we have Excel we can always assume unequal variance and should be good however there there is another kind of t-test called paired t-test or masked pair when data comes in pair for example in this data set look at we are comparing between one uh, food prepared by chef x and, uh, and the similar food prepared by chef y and then we are looking at who is the best uh, chef uh, to determine the best uh, food or the best food we'll have to eat uh, this food and it would be better if we use one person eat both food and kind of determine who is uh, the best now this ratings uh, 0 to 10 indicates that 0 indicates very bad test and 10 means very good quality food so the, in, in if you look at it each of these person food tester one provide two data um, for both shapes so this th that's why it's called paired t-test data comes in pair sometimes it's called masked pair in higher order in statistics we'll see later it's called repeated measure so we can say masked pair repeated measure or paired t-test um, so for this case the appropriate test would be sorry about this student came during this recording uh, however we are talking about the most appropriate test for uh, this type of situations when we are comparing paired data is called paired t-test or masked pair t test or repeated measure something like that we'll learn in the future um, so to run the t so let's do the four step method that we usually do for hypothesis testing so for the step number one which is um, the writing the hypothesis um, uh, null hypothesis H0 is in this case always equal so the quality uh, food quality from uh, chef X is equal to the food uh, quality from chef Y and if we don't have much information we should just simply write in the alternative hypothesis then and they're just not equal so either shape could be better um, so um, the food quality um, from chef x is not equal to to the food quality uh, from chef y now this statement kind of seems like uh, chef y is better but we're not saying that I'm just trying to use the same statement we usually use for an alternative hypothesis I think better way to say in this case is either shapes um, um, are good or uh, um, there is no difference uh, there is no difference um, um, there is a difference in this case uh, there is a I mean there is no dif difference would be the uh, null hypothesis but there is a difference would be the alternative difference in food quality from uh, chef 
uh, x and shape y so we can write that now step number two we have already discussed step number two which is the method we say paired uh, t test some text also refer that test name as a masked pair uh, masked pair um, some text also refer that repeated measure in the future will run um, because each of these subject were repeatedly measure repeated measure test um, t test um, we are still doing t test as long as we have only two sample we have chef one and chef two only two sample as long as we have two samples we can still do t test um, if it's more than two then we have something else so um, we could simply type this the p value it's trying to find the p value we could simply type t test um, that will last for array one like that comma array two comma and then tail because it's either side not equal so there's a two tail test and then um, it's a pair test so one for pair hit okay so that's the p value very very high probability of happening the null hypothesis so in the result part is step number three which is the result uh, you can say we accept the null hypothesis because the p value is point uh, nine almost ninety percent larger than the level of significance if it doesn't say anything the alpha value level of significance is always 0.05 there's no reason to change that now anything over 0.5 p value is called no evidence case meaning that you will you will never find a difference if even if you run this study for again and again so better not doing it now contextual conclusion Uh, we can simply rewrite the hypothesis accepted hypothesis so we accepted the null so there is no difference between shape one and shape two statistically you should use this word statistically so tell people that you did some kind of data analysis to um, make this statement so statistically there is no difference in food quality between chef x and chef y uh, so that's it about the pair t-test